Okay, welcome Luke to uh, Rock Kent's Garden and I'm uh, going to ask you a few questions tonight. Lovely. Okay. Um, what made you first pick up a guitar? Um, my dad, really. Uh, I mean, I used to, when I was younger, uh, be more into football and would concentrate more on that and stuff. And uh, my dad played guitar a long time, ever since I can remember, really. And uh, I never used to be interested in it, just used to sort of turn the other cheek until one day he asked me uh, to learn. I think it was just, yeah, just two chords and I picked them up quickly and liked the feel of it. Uh, and then back then when I first started, I was into rock music, so I just went straight to the electric and wanted to learn all the sure, fast stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then when I realised I could sing, then started writing songs and realised that um, I sort of a uh, line from one of Frank Turner's songs, lacked the friends to form a band, so I found an acoustic guitar <laughs> around the house and sort of started writing songs and have been ever since. Oh, nice one, nice one. And uh, which artists have uh, inspired you over the years? Once again, I, I think I've just got my dad to sort of thank for that as well. I grew up listening uh, to artists like Richard Thompson, uh, John Hyatt, sort of more folky, rootsy artists, and uh, they really inspired me in my songwriting. I don't listen to him as much anymore. I haven't listened to his last two albums a lot, but his first, his first two albums which came out, a guy called Frank Turner really inspired me. Mm. Um, but I mean, music, music that I listen to nowadays, like Mumford and Sons, uh, an artist that I'm listening to loads at the moment, a guy called James Vincent McMorrow. It's more, it's not really for me based around what genre it's in it's just if you like the sound I'll have a listen cool cool and uh, do you have much lined up for the summer? yeah yeah got a lot of festivals um, other people that I listen to a lot um, in the roots world uh, a guy called Steve Knightley who's in a trio called Show of Hands uh, and also a guy called Martin Joseph um, I've opened for them both uh, quite a few times now which has been really really good fun and lovely gigs to play mm. um, I'm doing festivals with them there's uh, lots of festivals uh, a thing called Sidmouth Festival which uh, is really good fun that's with Steve Knightley a uh, one day festival with Show of Hands called Abbotsbury and yeah. uh, then one called Greenbelt, which is thanks to Martin Joseph. So it's lovely to sort of have these uh, folky festivals, but to play alongside the people that you sort of uh, aspire to be like, which is really Yeah, cool. yeah, definitely. Yeah. And uh, do you have a favourite venue? You uh, say? That's, that's the thing. I play so many places. I'm, I was having a think about it, and uh, the, the, I've narrowed it down to two favourite venues, um, and they're both to do with a uh, organisation called Folk in the Barn, who a woman called Deb Zell puts on. And she uh, puts on, once again, Show of Hands, Steve Knightley, Martin Joseph, all of those. Um, and the first one was uh, Whitstable Playhouse, which is just down the road. Yeah. Um, and I love that because it's always silent and it's, it's almost as though, in a strange way, as though you've made it because you're there on the stage and there's a spotlight on you and it just feels almost perfect. But then at the same time, I love another one which you put on, uh, which is Kingston Barn. And I love that because you're you're literally in the crowd, you're you're amongst the crowd, and it's very very intimate, and they cling on to every word, so it's it's always lovely playing in them two places. Right. So one of those might be your most memorable gig then. Yes, yes, um, they have been very memorable. I would say overall, my, probably one of my most memorable gigs was when I uh, got the opportunity to play the main stage at Trowbridge Festival, with something ridiculous like five thousand people. Brilliant. Which was really really good fun. Really yeah, good. that must have been amazing. And uh, what are your plans for the future? Have you got any uh, gigs uh, lined up? Yeah, yeah. And, well, I mean, uh, albums, etc. Yeah, I've got the gigs over uh, the summer, uh, the festivals, and as well as that, I've always got gigs at pubs and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and keep myself busy all the time. Um, I'm at college, so I've got another year at college, and then uh, sometime, uh, hopefully early July, I've got an EP coming out, which is a five-track EP with loads of other artists um, playing their instruments along with my songs and stuff. So I've properly recorded the EP uh, with all the artwork and stuff. So. And how can people that. get hold of that? It's on the website, which is www.lukepaljackson.co.uk. Excellent. And it's also available on iTunes and all other. So it's downloadable. Are you, t are you pressing yes. any as well? Pardon? Are you, do are you doing any CDs? Uh, or is it just just at the demo? moment? At the moment, uh, I sell CDs at gigs and stuff. But when the hard, the, we will have hard copies, and then I'll sell them at gigs Brilliant. as well. Um, and then yeah, it's also download. Yeah, uh, it's download. So yeah. So what is on your iPod at the moment? What are you iPod. listening to? Uh, the main thing, I've already mentioned the artist, uh, I saw him on Jules Holland a few weeks ago and uh, felt the urge to go out and buy his album, which is very rare, I usually download them illegally, but I felt as I had to, I had to, uh, had to buy this one, uh, James Vincent McMorrow. Um, and, uh, yeah, Fern Cotton's played him, isn't it? Yes, yeah, 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 and no, I loved it, Just and the whole album is absolutely beautiful, so... Uh, that's been that's been the top one on my iPod. But then I, then again, I always listen to uh, another artist who really inspired me, an artist called Ray LaMontagne. Yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I love his stuff. And uh, yeah, other artists. Uh, no one seems to have heard of them. They're a lot like Mumford and Sons, and I personally think that they're they're better than Mumford and Sons. 
Um, but they've only seemed to have like five songs out, um, which seems a bit annoying. But a band called Boy and Bear, they're really, really, really good stuff. Um, but then there's loads and loads of stuff on my iPod. I think Fern uh, played them the other day, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. I think uh, that could be well worth uh, sending a little video through to Fern Cotton, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> She's well into this sort of stuff. Really? Oh, yeah, lovely. Definitely. Brilliant. I'll send it through to her. Brilliant. <laughs> And um, how can people follow you? You've got a MySpace page, Yeah, um, I have got MySpace, um, but sort of goes a bit dead. So what I'm doing at the moment is uh, pushing my Facebook, which is just Luke Jackson. And uh, once again, the website, uh, which has got a big long list of gigs, which I'm doing all information videos. Uh, I've got loads of stuff on YouTube under Luke Jackson. Yeah. Um, and there's a uh, link to that on, on my website, which is www.lukepauljackson.co.uk. Excellent. And uh, have you got any advice for young songwriters like yourself? Yeah, I mean, the way I started, if, if you get offered a gig and it doesn't look any good, the main thing you can do is just sort of try it out and do any gig, every gig that you can, just to sort of get your name out there. And um, I think when it comes to writing songs, the best thing to do is, is, is write about stuff that's meaningful to you, but at the same time can sort of connect to the audience as well. Um, in, in, in some ways, I sort of look at myself more as a storyteller opposed to a songwriter. Because sure. um, then they can, you, you can connect to the audience. And then, your everyday life. Yes, yeah, everyday life, yeah. and then other people can sort of connect to that. So. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And uh, finally, do you have any messages for Rock Kent TV viewers? Thank you for watching, um, and thank you for having me on the show. It's been really, really good fun. Um, also, uh, once again, the website is www.lukepauljackson.co.uk, and um, yeah, hopefully check that out. I've got loads of gigs all about the place, so if you can catch me at a gig, that'd be lovely. Also, uh, start of July, hopefully um, sometime then, I shall have the five-track EP out, so it's available Excellent. on uh, download iTunes, on the website, all of that, and hard copies of gigs. So. And one to phone cotton. And one to phone cotton. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Thanks, Luke. Thank Cheers. You.